Hey guys, welcome to our channel Coders Arcade. So in today's video, we are going to see how the variables and the keyword section works in robot file using robot framework in PyCharm. So in our last video, we saw this program. We made this program the first test case in robot framework. There we used settings section and we used test cases section. Now I am going to modify this program only and will show you how we can use variables and keywords inside this program. So let me tell you a brief introduction to what are this keywords and variables section. So the variable section is where we write our variables that needs to be repeatedly used in our test cases. So using variables you can write any number of test cases without repeating the same value of that particular variables. So suppose if I want to use this URL in my more than one test cases inside this test case section only, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable for this as URL and I can use that URL variable in any number of time in my test cases. So we are going to do that only. So I'm going to make a variable. So syntax for a variable in robot file is dollar and then curly braces open and close. So inside our curly braces, we are going to write the name of our variable. So let's make a variable called URL where we are going to store our google.com. So I'm going to write inside my curly braces URL. So this is the variable that we created URL. Now we need to set the value for it. So I'm going to give a tab and then I'm going to copy this whole thing and I'll be going to paste it here. Now what happened? This is the variable and this is the value of this particular variable. So now I don't need to write this whole google.com inside my open browser command. Instead, I'll be using dollar and inside my curly braces, I'm going to write URL. Now this dollar URL will pick the value google.com from our variable section. So likewise, we can put this Chrome also inside one variable called browser. Let's make that variable quickly. So first I'm going to write dollar and then inside my curly braces, I'm going to write browser and, and then I'm going to give one tab and then after giving tab, I'm going to write my browser's name, which is Chrome. And then I'm going to remove this Chrome. Instead, I'm going to write dollar and then inside my curly braces browser and then I am going to give some space so that you will be able to understand it properly here also. So this is our variable section and inside our variable section we created two variables. First variable is URL. Inside my URL I have given www.google.com and I have used this dollar URL inside my test cases open browser command. So this will pick this URL value from the variable section. Likewise, this browser variable will pick the value Chrome from a variable section. Let's try running this from my terminal. I open my terminal and I'm going to first call my robot framework. So for that, I'm going to write robot, then space, then my directory name automation then backslash and then I'm going to write my name of the file. So my name of the file is test.robot and then I'm going to press enter. So as you can see here, my code is working properly. Chrome is being controlled by automated test software. So it picked the URL Google from my variable and it opened the browser Chrome from this variable section. Now let's make some changes in our code and I'm going to change this URL here. Now this time I'm going to open my channel, our code is arcade channel. So I'm going to go to my browser and then I'm going to open my YouTube and then I'm going to go to my channel and inside my channel, I'm going to copy this whole thing, my channel link. And then I'm going to close this thing and I'm going to paste my channel link on the URL. So I have updated my URL variable. Now, once I have updated my URL here in my URL variable, 
I don't need to do anything in my test case. So if I try running it again, I'll open my terminal and if I again, if I run my code, you can see, see our channel is open now. So this program is working fine. So now this means that our variable URL is working fine. See, pass and pass. Okay, so now this was the variables part. Now let's move on to our keywords. So what are keywords? So basically keywords are the user defined words that we can use inside our test cases. Now suppose there is a big test case that you are writing and inside that big test case you want this small chunk that you don't want to write inside your test case. So what you can do is you can define this whole block inside your keyword and then you can just call that particular keyword inside your test case. So suppose I don't want this whole code to be displayed here inside my test case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it and I'm going to create a keyword for this particular code. So let's say I'm going to name it as inside Google. So this will be our keyword name and in the indentation of this inside Google keyword, I'm going to paste my code. So now what is happening here? I have made a keyword and I have written the whole code inside the indentation of this keyword. Now this was our test case name. Now inside our test case names indentation, I'm just going to call inside Google keyword. See, it showed me auto suggestion. That means my keyword is correct. Now what happened here is I created a keyword inside Google and I pasted full code inside my inside Google keyword. And then I just called inside Google in my Google test case. Now, if I run this, I'm going to go to my terminal and then I'm going to again run it. You can see here it opened the URL and it is working fine. See, pass and pass. So as you can see here, I created a keyword inside Google and then I called this inside Google into my Google test case. And you can see here that we were using variables that we created here inside my keyword. So what it did is when I called inside Google, which is inside our test case Google, it called the inside Google keyword and in this inside Google keyword, it picked the variable URL, which we provided here in our variable section. And then it opened it in our browser keyword, which was Chrome. So this is how we can use variable section and the keyword section in our robot file using robot framework in PyCharm. So this is all about this video guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you like the video and if you like it, then tell us in the comment section below. If you have any doubts, then post them in the comment section. I will definitely try to clear those doubts. Also, like, share and subscribe to our channel Coders Arcade and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification when we post our new video. Thank you. Happy learning.